When Crocker Block released Jet Form Builder, it was designed to, let's say, work natively with Gutenberg. Perhaps not so ideal news for Elementor Page Builder users, since most of the Crocker Block suite works with Elementor Page Builder natively. Luckily, there is a way that you can use any form created with Jet Form Builder and get it into your website using Elementor. And today I'll show you how. With Jet Form Builder, you can create and style beautiful forms like user login and registration, user profiles, contact forms, booking forms, application forms, and more. And now you can bring all of these forms into Elementor as well. Hi again, I'm Peter from the Ultimate WordPress Guide and we've teamed up with Crockerblock to bring you this tutorial on how to use Jet Form Builder and to get Jet Form Builder forms into your website using Elementor. In this video, I won't be covering all the details of Jet Form Builder, but rather focusing on how to use Elementor to get your Jet Form Builder forms into your website. There is already a very good library of videos available on how to use Jet Form Builder, some of which I've added links to in the description below, such as how to connect payment gateways to your forms and many more. So let's head over to the WordPress dashboard and take a look. So here I've created a very simple contact form in Gutenberg using Jet Form Builder using blocks from the Jet Form fields to create. I've created a text field for first name, text field for last name, text field for email, and a text area for the message. And of course, down here, I have the regular old submit button. Now I want to mention that Crockerblock has a cool free plugin called Jet Style Manager that can be used to style your form directly from the Gutenberg Builder if you wish. After installing the plugin, you can access the Style Manager from this brush icon. And as you can see, I can then use the Jet Style Manager to customize all of the elements inside of this form like text size, line heights, letter spacing, paddings, borders, text colors, background colors, and any and all of the other content of this form very easily with this plugin. Now it is important to mention that if you're planning to use the styling options in Elementor, you shouldn't use the Jet Style styling options. Over in Elementor, you can now add your form very easily using the Jet Form widget that's available with the Crockerblock suite. I should then again mention here that you shouldn't change any of these form settings as they will be overwritten by the settings on the form in Gutenberg. So if I head back to the form, you can see that on the contact form, let me select a field, go to the form settings, the form settings that I have on the right hand side here. So once you've dragged the jet form widget onto your canvas, you can choose the form that you have in your library created with jet form builder, and that will display the selected form in your canvas over onto the style tab. Here you can see I have all the elements available to style my form to fit my website's theme. Here you can style things like gaps between form rows, all of the details around labels, margins, padding, text alignment, typography, required marks for your labels, description text, which is the small little piece of text here, which you would generally add when you create the form checkboxes and radio button fields, input fields, calculated fields, range fields, repeaters, conditions block, and so on. On the submit button section here, I can also set up the normal and the hover states, background colors, text colors, typographies, padding, and so on. If you're building or if you have built a multi-step form, there are also a bunch of styling settings that you can use to set up form breaks, break buttons, disabled messages, wrappers pages, and then finally the successful and error messages that are displayed can also be styled from here. I hope this video helped you to see how easy it is to get the full power of the Jet Form Builder plugin, even if you're an Elementor user. If you liked this video, found it useful or helpful, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, tap the bell for notifications to stay up to date with all of our latest content. If you have any questions or features you'd like to see in future videos, please drop your request in the comment section below. Until next time, bye for now.